Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on and share with you um, regarding parenting and motherhood, these verses that the Lord had really just put on my heart. I had planned on sharing something else, so I'm going to go with the flow here and hope that the Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. Okay, so um, what I want to look at quickly, because I don't have a lot of time, as per usual, is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. And I want to read it to you. It says, All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. Another version says, All things are permissible for me, but not all things are helpful. Often this verse surfaces, and I repeat it, I speak it to my children. I'm sorry for the glare in my glasses. <coughs> um, when I'm parenting and I'm trying to teach them something, like you shouldn't do that, um, or you shouldn't do this, and they say, well, I can if I want to. I say, yes, you can if you want to, but it's not going to help you. There's going to be consequences if you do that, right? So let me, let me just um, stay on that for a minute. Um, not only do I use that in parenting, but even in um, um, within the grounds of marriage, any relationship, really it comes into obeying the voice of the Lord. So all things are permissible. Yes, you can do what you want. The Lord, God is not um, going to come down and force you to do something that, that you don't want to do. We have free will, right? And so we have the free will to choose if we want to obey him or disobey him. It's the same with our children, right? They know our rules and our regulations. I mean, they know their teach what they've been taught, but they choose when they're away from us what they want to do. Um, if they want to obey your voice, the voice of the Lord, or if they just want to go and go ahead and do their own thing. So just as that scripture verse says, <clears throat> excuse me, all things are permissible or lawful, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to help you. So now, with that in mind, <clears throat> the vision that the Lord gave me um, about the mother um, and mothers in general that are just feeling beaten down, um, struggling in parenting, struggling in life, struggling in marriage, just wanting to surrender and throw in the towel. Um, the Lord was there. He was right there and he was crying over them. He was crying for them. He was feeling their pain. But the problem was, and the Lord showed me, is they weren't allowing him to move in that situation. They weren't allowing him to move in their household. They weren't allowing him to move in their marital relationships, in their um, parenting relationships. And why is that? It's because... <clears throat> Mom was trying to do things in her own strength and in her own way. And really, I mean, all of my friends pretty well on my Facebook page are believers, <coughs> um, are Christians. And if we're not being submissive to him on a day-to-day -day basis, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, we need to be so sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We need to obey that voice when we hear it. So whatever situation you find yourself in with your children, with your husband, even out there in the world, um, you know, don't be quick to speak. Be quick to listen to the spirit before you are, before you open your mouth. Okay. So the next thing I want to move on to share with you is, um, what the Lord was showing me is <clears throat> he, he wasn't allowed to move in the situation. Like he wasn't given permission to move. And so I want to go to the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 28. <clears throat> it's very long. So I'm just going to pick out bits and pieces of it. And, um, Maybe you can read that on your own time. You can get a Bible app on your phone <clears throat> or you can just look it up online. But Deuteronomy um, chapter 28, it talks about the blessings of obedience, the blessings of obeying the Lord and the curses for disobedience. And so I think I've shared before in my other videos that everything you see in the natural is just a manifestation of what is happening in, in the spiritual realm. So every single thing starts in the spirit realm before you see it manifest in the natural. And so there are blessings to obeying the Lord. Um, <clears throat> there are blessings in the spirit. It might take time to manifest itself in the natural. But the Lord's timing, the Bible says, is different from our timing. So we expect things, especially in our culture, now, now, now. Well, if I... If I obey the Lord's voice right now, why don't I see my blessing in front of me, right? You know, it doesn't work like that. So sometimes it takes time for the spirit to manifest in the natural. So quickly, <clears throat> um, what I want to share with you is Deuteronomy chapter 28 says, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all of his commandments, 
which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And I'm going to skip down to verse 7. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and all to which you set your hand. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. I'm telling you, there is so much here. Like so many blessing after blessing after blessing, if you obey the voice of the Lord, if you will um, <coughs> obey the commandments of the Lord. And then there's curses for disobedience. And again, this is also long. And so I'm just going to pick out little verses that I had already highlighted. Um, oh, one more obedience, which is amazing. I love it. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes, let me say this, obeying the voice of the Lord, obeying him, especially in our society, it seems like foolishness to people. Like, why would you talk to somebody who hates you? Why would you bless them? Why would you offer to give this to them? Why would you even try to reconcile? They hate you. Da, 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 da. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, like when, when, um, when I'm talking about obeying the voice of the Lord or obeying the Lord, that's knowing this word and obeying it, okay? So there's a lot there on, um, you know, hatred in your heart and anger towards people um, and your enemies. Bless those who persecute you. Um, bless your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. That seems like foolishness to the natural man. They would say, no, tit for tat, this guy did me wrong. Um, you know, he deserves this punishment. That's not the way the Lord Jesus Christ works. And that's not the way he wants us to operate. Because when we do, when, we, when we're walking outside of this word, we're outside of um, his boundaries. You know what I'm saying? We're not within his covering. So like I said in the very beginning, everything is permissible, but not everything is helpful. Okay. <clears throat> so let me move on quickly to some curses for disobedience. Cursed shall you be in the city and cursed shall you be in the country. So this is for dis disobedience. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body. Hello. How many people do we have sick in this world? Not saying like they're all cursed, but think about that. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body and the produce of your land and the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Now, this is in reference to those days like um, cattle, land, you know, that was all they had. Like they weren't in an industrialized society like we live in today. So um, <coughs> the Lord will send on you the cursing, confusion and rebuke and all that you set your hand to. Da, 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 da. So again, Deuteronomy 28, check that out. Um, one last thing here I've highlighted that looks good because you did not serve the Lord, your God with joy and gladness of heart for the abundance of everything. Therefore, you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you. Like this is powerful stuff. You, you know, you might think this is outdated and this doesn't, you know, apply to us or make any sense. Sure. It absolutely does. There's nothing in this word that is, um, contrary to the ways of this world sure our society has changed but the rules and the regulations and the laws and the ordinances of the lord remain the same because the bible says that he is the same yesterday today and forever so you know when you're reading about cattle and flock and da 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 da, da you can think of that as like your inheritance your property your food do you, do you understand what i'm saying so really the point that i wanted to drive home was that very first scripture verse that i shared with you that not everything everything is permissible everything is lawful you can do what you want on this life you can do what you want in your marriage you can do what you want in parenting um but not everything is helpful so if we and i have i have seen this i have seen the lord in my own personal life restore relationships that were broken i've seen the lord restore um, my marriage i've seen the lord restore Okay, this was paused. I'm not too sure what's happening, so I, I think I'm going to end it. <coughs> um, but when you are obedient to the voice of the Lord is when he can come in and he can move on your behalf and he can make things happen. So that vision that the Lord gave me of the mother crying at the kitchen sink over the son who was rebellious, disobedient, didn't know what to do with him, so to speak. This is where you need to humble yourself before the Lord. You need to intercede because what is happening with your son and what is happening with your family and your household is a spiritual battle. It is a spiritual root. It is spirit. So if you try to attack it in the natural 
you're not going to succeed because there's something happening in the spirit realm that needs to be dealt with before you will see that manifestation in the natural. Okay, I'm not saying don't discipline your children, you know, correct them, guide them, instruct them. Of course, we need to do those things. Um, but as for the deeper issues, you know, this is where you need to get on your knees. This is where you need to learn the word of the Lord so you know um, what to do in each moment. The Holy Spirit will surface to your remembrance those scripture verses that you have hidden in your heart, that you have read. And that's how the Lord speaks. Okay, so I pray that you are blessed by that. And as the Lord gives me more... Um, words and scriptures and whatnot to speak to you guys i'm going to um release them i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of live videos because i actually find that very um challenging <laughs> with a house full um i do have a youtube video i will definitely be posting them on my youtube channel so if you guys are um interested in hearing then please go to youtube and please subscribe um I will share the YouTube videos as well on Facebook because I have a large um, family list or friends list on Facebook of believers. And so I plan on doing that. But as for live videos, not so much. So I pray that you are blessed by that. And I hope you have a good day. Bye, guys.